An amazing discovery in our very own backyard. For the first time, T-Rex skin fossils have been found in Alberta as well as South Dakota. Now, the discovery was made by a team of international researchers, including paleontologists from right here at the University of Alberta. Scott Persons is one of those team members from the U of A, and he joins us now. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. When I think of a paleontologist, you look exactly what I was thinking of. So <laughs> very nice to have you here. Tell us about this amazing discovery. I know it's very exciting here. Where in Alberta was this specimen found? Okay, what so exactly it, was it? It's not just one specimen. It's actually a number of different specimens. And, and as you said, they've been found in places uh, all, all over the world. Um, the specimens that have been found here in Alberta include some that were found not too far from the Dinosaur Provincial Park area. And in South Dakota, the same discovery? Uh, a team of researchers from South Dakota joins us. Actually, that specimen was found in Montana. And there's also been some specimens found over in Mongolia of an animal called wow. Tarbosaurus. Well, let's, what's so exciting about what was found here in Alberta? This is uh, sure, quite amazing, sure. isn't it? Absolutely. It's, it's in many ways sort of a childhood dream come true mm. because for the first time we can reach out and feel what it would be like to pet a Tyrannosaur. Wow. And uh, this is scales. Yes, yeah. Not, that, not feathers. That's what's so gosh darn surprising about it. We've known from specimens in China that the ancestors of our big tyrannosaurs like T-Rex mm -hmm. uh, were covered in feathers. And we assume then, well, then the, the big guys were as well. But it turns out uh, that that's not the case, that they oh. actually have a scaly pattern covering their hides. Um, and the scales show us individual little bumps as opposed to sort of overlapping shingles like you see on the scales of a snake or a lizard. This is much closer to the hide along the flanks of a crocodile. So what would this be like to pet then? You mentioned that you now you know what it's like to pet. Can you what, what, compare it to an alligator? Sure, sure. Or? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's similar again to the scales that you see along the side yeah. of, of an alligator. So it's got a very bumpy, yeah. uh, pebbly texture to it. What were these animals like? Were they loners? Did they travel in packs? Do you know? Do that, that, that's a good question. So we actually have some great direct evidence from uh, bone beds where we've got multiple individuals preserved together that shows us at least some Tyrannosaurs, including Albertosaurus, uh, probably did live in packs and pretty big ones mm. too, really? up to 20 to 30 individuals. Yeah. What color would they be? Do you, can, can you tell that? We still have no idea about that. There's uh. been some great work done on dinosaur colors uh, as, as far as the actual pigment cells that have been preserved in some of the feathered specimens, but we haven't been able to turn that around and look at some of these scaly tyrannosaurs, at least not yet. Can you tell me how old this would be? Sure. So these animals were around over 70 million years ago. Wow. So with that, this is not the Ice Age we're talking about. No, no, no. Millions of years before that. What would, how big would this animal be if it was in our studio right now? Oh, it would take up the entire studio. Big adult Albertosaurus pushing 30 feet in total length. Wow. And uh, you're hoping to find more and, and, and maybe a bigger specimen? That's right. So what we have now are small sort of skin patches. Right. Now we have them from different specimens at different points across the body. So we can sort of piece them together to get a sense for the entire animal. But of course the, the holy grail for skin research would be to find a truly mummified tyrannosaur with skin basically all across the body. And we have that mm. for duckbill dinosaurs, okay. but not yet for tyrannosaurs. Still, it's, it's got to be out there buried somewhere. So you think it's out there. Well, good luck. I know you're going to you'll find it if anybody can. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for coming in. My pleasure.